Hi, uh, Gregor Dakers asked me uh, if I could give him some instruction on creating the one-to-one -one plots. Uh, also, prints depend on the size of machine that you use. Plot is a plotter, print, you know, kind of an A3 printer. So what I'm doing is uh, I've, I've stripped away all the layouts from my drawing and I'm just going to show you how I would set this up for doing one-to-one -one plots in uh, two different ways. Okay, so first thing you need to do is go to My Dundee, into the Trust Bridge model making, and I'm currently putting this together, but I've put a file in here that you need to use. Okay, so you go into this setting up one to one plots prints. Okay, and at the top there it's saying download this file. Okay, this this holds the the line weight settings that will make the drawings look legible. Okay, so you download that file. Okay, and then we need to make sure it's there in downloads. So let's just have a wee look in the downloads folder. There it is, ready to use. Just gonna make that a bit smaller. Okay, and now what we want to do, I've got AutoCAD running, okay? So make sure you run AutoCAD, all right? and then we want to go to the control panel. Now my screen grab doesn't have the control panel uh, device showing so let's just see if I can find it here. Um, I'll just bring this, uh, the search window is stuck on the other screen so um, let's have a wee look. Uh, where could you find it? Um, it's going to be a bit tricky grabbing the bit of the screen that I need. Uh, so in on my other screen in the bottom right hand corner there is the search panel, sorry bottom left hand corner there's a search panel and you're searching for your control panel. Okay, If you're using a Mac, uh, different setup altogether, I can place a, an item on screen for how you get the pen style into the right place. But this is the link you're looking for, Autodesk Plot Style Manager. And this just opens another folder. Okay, and we've got to drag the file that you downloaded from your downloads into this folder. Okay, so there's my downloads one. Okay, my, I've already got the file here, so I'm just going to delete it just for a second. Okay, but you're dragging this CTB file into this setup. Okay. We can close those now. So now this is the folder that AutoCAD looks in for anything to do with pen setups. So it's ready to go. Okay, back in AutoCAD. Okay, so let's say we want a one to one drawing of our base plan. Okay, so this is going to be the full sheet version first. Okay, so we'll go to layout and there's going to be something there. So it's at the moment it's set up as an A4 with you know a, a, a rectangular viewport inside that. Okay, so first things first, you tell it what machine you want to output to. So <coughs> this is going to be to a PDF because you've got to take it to the uh, the printer. So you right click this, page setup manager, modify, okay. I'm not going to use Adobe PDF, I'm going to use DWG to PDF because this is standard to every anybody that's got AutoCAD installed or is using AutoCAD, I should say. Okay, paper size, Okay, we need a ISO A1. So this, as I said, this is the, the everything on one sheet. So ISO A1. What to plot is layout. This must say one to one. So scale one to one. Okay, make sure it does. This is the one that screws things up most. And then the plot style table. This is where we use the black and color CTB. Okay, 
I've set up some of the layers to be semi-transparent so I need to put in plot transparency landscape orientation it's a landscape shaped object so we'll OK that and close OK now it's it's better if you've got a what we call a viewport layer so let's just see what we've got in the layers list here OK so I've got a layer down at the bottom here created called viewports it's non-printing OK so this the boxes around these things won't come out it really doesn't matter if it does you know these drawings are for somebody to make a model from so so if the viewports plotted out as a rectangle it's not a big deal okay so let's maximize this initially see what we can get so I'm going to switch ortho off and switch object snaps off and pretty much make this fill the view the inside the margins do that top and bottom corners okay now what we do is we go into the viewport okay so I'm just going to double escape a couple of times to get rid of the, any grips double click and then roughly zoom in on the bit that you're interested in so on this page we should be able to fit the plan and the elevation so I'll just just roughly size them okay it might involve you moving drawings a bit closer together so you can fit them onto one page it would be more economical if you did that okay and then you choose the scale okay and we've been drawing at one to one so one to one it's got a bit bigger I'm missing a bit of text up the top there so to, to solve that I need to move these a bit closer to each other so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to jump back to the model space okay and I'm going to move this down so it's nearer the plan so make sure orthos on this time because you want them lined up so move grab all this and just by eye just bring it as close as I can without them overlapping okay then go back to the layout there we go okay I can hold my middle mouse button now and we've got a bit of spare space okay as long as the drawing information's there you'll be okay okay make sure this hasn't changed make sure it still says one to one here and that's good to print so we'll double click outside uh, I'm gonna put this onto the viewports layer okay escape okay and then plot so this is going to generate the PDF uh, I'll just explain the layer transparency just before we, we, we do that let's just have a quick look at here okay so you see over here for the fill layers I've got a transparency setting on these so that they are a bit weaker and they don't obliterate the drawing okay but remember in your page setup transparency has to be ticked or it'll just ignore that okay so we were going to plot this so you can either type in plot or you can use the printer icon do a preview make sure it's going to do what you need that's looking good nice and sharp the line weights are working correctly the things that are chopped through are thicker than the things that are down below Okay, I want to plot this now, so I right clicked there, plot. Okay, so this is my elevation and lower plan PDF. So generate that, should preview it on screen once it's done. There we go. Okay, let's maximize this. Okay, zoom in, let's have a look. All looking good. Nice and crisp, easy to understand. Okay, so you'd repeat that for the for the other portions. If you wanted to, you could just export them straight from here. We could what we could do is just double click and hold the middle mouse and just bring the other part into view. Okay, now if we wanted the 
the gusset plates printed alongside this, what I, what I could do is move the gusset plates into this portion in model space. So let's see if that'll work. So I've got my gusset plates here and I'm just going to move them above that plan. So that's my full set of gusset plates that people need to cut out. Have a look at the layout. That looks fine, we've got plenty of space there so I could move back up a bit, hold the middle mouse, check that we're still at one to one. We are. Double click outside. Kind of jammed, there we go, a few more clicks there. And then plot that one. Always do a preview. Okay, that's looking good. And plot. So this one though is my upper plan and gusset plate. So we've got two PDFs now. Looking good. Okay, now cheaper printing. If you want to do this as uh, A3s, okay, what we should do in this layout is draw the size of an A3. Okay, so we'd use a rectangle. Okay. And we'll go so a rectangle would be it would be at four what is it four ten by two nine seven four one oh comma two nine seven at four one oh comma two nine seven okay so what we're going to do is just move that just by eye so I couldn't do this in two rectangles it would be very it'd be a bit optimistic because you, you you do have to allow for kind of printer margins so for this I probably want to print out three of these okay so you can just leave them on you can just put the put the rectangles on and then just copy copy it along I'll put ortho back on so they're in a straight line. So there's a middle portion. Yeah, it could be A4s even actually, yeah, but we'll go with A3s just now. So three A3s to do that. If there isn't anything kind of obvious that would help you line things up, then just what you could do is just draw some circles. Okay, and these these will help you align the sheets. If you can get all these circles, these all to line up with each other. So if I copy all of them down the way as well. Okay, so there's plenty of objects that we can overlay so we can end up when we sellotape these together, they look okay. Okay, so the the page setup's a little bit different this time. Uh, we're gonna need the object snaps on. Okay, so what we're gonna do is print this rectangle, then this one, then this one. Okay. So we want to do plot. Oops, no, we don't. We want to do page setup. So you right click, page setup manager, modify. Okay. This is when we change paper size and we change the plot area. So we want an ISO A3. I think I've made mine a bit small, haven't I? But anyway, that's fine. 420 by 297, not 410 by 297, like I just did. Um, okay, and we want to plot a window. Okay, it's asking me to pick the window right now, so this is the, our rectangle. I'm going to go from this corner to this one because there's less stuff in the way. Okay, let's preview that, and it should just be a portion of the plan. That looks fine. Okay, it's going to be a lot rougher than printing it out in one big sheet, but uh, it's much cheaper. Okay, so that's good. We can exit that. So when we OK, the white that we see here for the A1 is going to become the A3 instead. And close. Okay, does that make sense? So it's showing you 
that even though we you know we've got we've lost quite a lot of the page through margins so uh, you know this is going to be fine so that one's ready to go so a plot okay the preview we've seen the preview already so we don't need to do it again so okay okay so you have to be a bit systematic with these so this is upper plan part one okay so that's one a3 we now move on to the next rectangle which is this one okay so you right click page setup manager modify pick a new window it's going from corner there to a bit tricky corner there okay close you notice the white portion has moved on to the middle a3 now plot preview seen a bit of the gusset plates there but that's no problem right click plot okay we've got a file name already there so we can tweak this so this is upper plan part 2 I've lost the .pdf but that's okay should be alright okay so what we do is we overlay them and make sure these circles line up okay and then last part page setup manager whoops that was the wrong command I think let's try that again and that was drafting standard setup I clicked should have clicked page setup manager modify window we're doing the final rectangle now which is from here to here OK and close then plot preview get the last triangle plot we just need to rename the last part of this now so it's upper plan part 3 and that's it right now because I can't I haven't got printer here and I can't kind of demonstrate the overlapping what I can do is, is bring these into Photoshop and just show you how we'd put them together okay but you don't need you wouldn't be doing this in Photoshop you'd be actually printing them out and then kind of getting into it you know uh, maybe put a, a white piece of paper on the table uh, so that it's got a chance of shining through or do this on a window place sellotape your first piece onto a window and then it's much easier to see through okay but I'll just do this digitally so you can understand what you've got to do when you put them back together okay so the more bits of text and dimensions and things that are kicking around the more chance you have of lining things up okay but let's just quickly demo this as if it was done digitally so I want to open and We'll see if it, I don't think it'll let me open three PDFs at the same time. Uh, so I've got upper plan part one, two, and three. It, I think it when you try this, it only opens one of them at a time. But uh, yeah, I thought so. So that will do for this. That's okay. Yes. It's, oh, oh, it's going for the other ones as well. Good. Okay, it's bringing them in all three good okay so if these were white pieces of paper you wouldn't be able to see through them so I'm just going to flatten that flatten this and flatten this one uh, so in Photoshop what I need to actually is, is make give myself more space to work in so I increase the canvas size I need it probably three times as big so I want it to be 300% Okay, so imagine this is still just one piece of paper and I'm bringing in the next one. So Control A, Control C, Control V. Okay, and if you were leaning on a window, you'd be able to s kind of see through. You'd be able to see through the paper and then you're li just lining them up. 
So you, you're trying to get these circles to, to sit on top of each other as accurately as possible. So if I get in a bit closer I can see that's the best overlay. Change my opacity and then I bring in get my third piece of paper, control A, control C. And we've got to get that fitting on here. So we're looking for the overlap. Okay, you can see there's a little slither of white paper on each of these. Uh, so you know you might need to do that. You might need to trim a little bit off before you start. So if I just delete that bit, okay, and then on this one, you would just trim off a wee bit just because it's hiding stuff, and that's it. Back to full size. Okay, but you know, bear in mind this is all paper. This is I just the only way I can demonstrate it is doing it digitally, so we can screen grab and capture it. Okay, so I think that's covered everything that you would you would do. Um, you know, if you're going back to to do the other layout, you know, the other parts of this. Remember what we would do. I think you'd probably best to do go back to the A1 uh, to your previous setup or have a different layout for each one so um, what I'll do is just just set this up again quickly um, so if we move or copy this move to the end create a copy okay so this is a, the, a different layout now okay we've got a, a viewport here we activate the viewport and remember you hold the middle map oh, I've lost my scale that's okay I'm just gonna bring this back into view okay set it to one to one okay and we basically kind of repeat the process but here you know we'd have to do kind of two sets of A3s so you double click outside and then we're doing another set of A3s here once you've done those, you can do another set of A3s up here. Okay, so remember, it's page setup manager, modify this window button from here to here. Okay, close, then plot, preview. Aha, haven't got the transparency set up there. Let's just check that. Doesn't look, it looks a lot stronger for some reason. There we go, look at that. That transparency button switched itself off when I did a copy from one to the other. It's probably playing safe. Good job we did, good job we tried that. You apply that change. If you do any changes, you apply them to the layout. Preview, that's better. It's not so, not so in your face. I can still read these numbers, but just check that you, you everything's legible that you need that needs to be okay so I'm just going to cancel that so what I'd probably do there is just move move these rectangles down slightly because they're a bit too high okay reselect the window so the window is a bit further down now okay close plot preview ah, now I've lost the top so this might be a case where we'd need to do vertical ones if you if you keep losing the information top and bottom let's just do that let's so these ones if I delete these to rotate this rectangle okay Okay, so we're probably likely to need four of these instead of three. Okay, 
good overlap in the middle. So we're doing four vertical A3s. Remember your circles, they could be useful for helping you line up. Also on, I'm gonna move that. Just put circles in all of these, they'll be useful. Oops, rogue on that. So, lots of these circles help you with the overlap. And that should be it, as long as there's at least kind of two circles everywhere. So, page setup, we need to change to portrait for this. So page setup manager, modify, window, we're doing the vertical rectangle this time. It's a portrait setup. Okay. Close. Then plot. Check your preview. Plot. Okay, and this would be elevation part one, etc., etc. Okay, hopefully that will get you on the right track. You know, a single sheet much easier, but you know it's going to be more expensive. You'd be eight pounds or thereabouts to uh, to print two A ones, uh, but it's a, a lot. A fair bit more fussy doing the A, A3s, but uh, if they were black and white, uh, then there's going to be quite a lot cheaper. They'll only be 10 pence per sheet, so that would be 40p plus 30, so 70. Another 30, probably, you, you're probably talking about £1.50 instead of £8 in printing costs. Okay, hope that's been useful. Good luck, guys.